the aforementioned Eves this morning by email said to me, I was born in the year 2000, so they, they are a senior in high school, right? <laughs> so they were, they were born in 2000, and therefore, there's n so Eve's never seen a card catalog, right? So I think it's important, Joe, for us to say, and then Erica, What's this thing about the card catalog, and why would Erica Baum, a photographer who was, you know, it's a fairly early project, like your third major project, I think. Um, why would a poet, photographer poet, be interested in the card catalog? Joe, any thoughts on that? And, and also, here's the Trump, sorry, here is the extra question. Um, he, should, he who shall not be named as a noun, yeah, uh, adjective. Um, how, what does that have to do with aleatory poetry? There's another one. Okay, Joe, take it away. Well, speaking as a poet, the card catalog is just pure nostalgia. Um, I, I remember it well from elementary school, and I, I'm pretty sure I still know how to use one. Um, so it's just this, it's sort of like um, space junk in a way. You know, it's just kind of space floating junk. out there. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's weird. It's, it, it's become weird, you know, and it's in its obsolescence. Yeah. That's really cool. Does anybody, we're going to take a, a phone call. We have someone on the phone. Mandana, can you just add, why, well, Erica has to do it too. Mandana, then Erica, and then the phone. Um, why would this artist be interested, what is it about the card catalog that, that makes aesthetic thinking possible? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, what you said earlier about the framing. The, the card catalog frames a beginning point and a terminal point and nothing outside of those two points but everything within those two points so it's both a limitation as well as uh, limitless possibilities yeah so in a way it fits even though you're a week 10 poet it really fits as a week 9 poem because for instance um, uh, n plus 7 mm -hmm. has a cousin relationship to that it's alphabetical. Or Nick Montfort's Constraint in the Exhaustion of Libraries, where it's an, al it's an alphabetical poem. It's a poem of alphabetism or abecedarianism with that kind of constraint. So what, what and, and this is one of your favorite pieces. Thank you for giving me yes. a photograph of it. What, thank you, I love it. Well, I, I just wanted, um, for the record, say that when I first, I'll tell the story of how I first started working in the libraries. I had been doing another project earlier than that. I was in graduate school at Yale and I was photographing blackboards and I was going to classrooms and photographing in between class, looking at what was on the blackboard that we, and, and experiencing something where I would question what was this lecture about and then enjoying the fact that I, that wasn't available to me but I could only experience what was in between that. And then one day I was in the classroom and it, they were all being taken over by high school students taking standardized tests so I took my tripod and my view camera and my lights to the library and pulled open a drawer. And the reason I'm telling the story this way is that in my mind at the time, this was a quotidian thing that we all did. It wasn't a documentary thing. But then after I graduated, I continued doing that project. I really just started at the very end of my time at Yale. And I continued the project going to Jersey City, going to NYU, going to lots of libraries it quickly became clear that digitizing was taking over and they were putting these aside. So I had to kind of embrace this sort of documentary aspect of it, even though really it was meant to be as familiar as anything else. But I mm. also have to add that I sometimes think anything I touch is going to become obsolete. Yeah, because books, you know, the whole question about e-books, although I think that's changed a little, but blackboards and dry erase and all that, you know. So, but really, I, I'm not... Um, running away from the word nostalgia because I understand that's part of the conversation, but it was not the case when I did the work. Yeah. 